Morning, girls. How are we doing? Welcome back to uh, Every Day the Foodie Beauty. Maybe, I have no idea. Her name keeps changing. She got rid of all the, the Islam from her from her name. She was no longer Mariam or anything like that. Suddenly, she was Foodie the Beauty, and people think that that came along the times that she was suddenly uh, suspended because apparently she did a red stream that I was unaware of, where apparently she like flipped the fuck out. We all know she was raging on a community tab post, so apparently she kind of pushed the boat out too far. And uh, for, for her birthday, instead of this, this beautiful play button we're about to see here, she got banned by YouTube for more than likely a week. Uh, fantastic. So I'm still catching up here, guys. I'm going to do this um, this video here, um, catch up on a few things, and then I'm thinking on Saturday night, we'll sit down and we'll do the live stream where we finish off the Mr. Snowflake episode one, and we'll do the rest of the catching up. So we'll be totally caught up with her, or I'll try and catch up with Amberlin, because <laughs> honestly, I keep looking at that and be like, oh, five Amberlin videos now. Not excited at all. Let's go. We're at 1.25 speed, obviously. Wow. Oh, it must be real because it's dented. Weird that the dent went through and didn't do anything on the other side. <laughs> Congratulations on the subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Rick, you're getting called out. <laughs> if your award was damaged during shipping, if you have any questions, please contact us at YouTube Creator at societyawards.com. I obviously do not have 100,000 subscribers. However, um, the fact that it's not you emailing youtube directly i find kind of suspicious but i've like i've said never been a hundred thousand subscribers i know there are people who have had a hundred thousand subscribers who have come out and publicly said that she got this way too quickly because she is being paid in canadian dollars still so like her plaque would be sent to her registered home address because it's all based on like your ad sense and everything like that so it'd be sent to your registered home address which she more than likely is still having as being in canada so she would have to have it shipped to canada like created all the checks that need to be done for a hundred thousand and everything like that all the checks would need to be done and then it would be posted to canada and then her mom would then have to package it up and then post it to her out in qa so a lot of people are saying this came way too quickly and it's one because you can buy these off like amazon you can buy these off like maybe be somewhere like society awards or something like that so i don't know if it's real or not i thought i should bring it up because i don't know a lot of people are talking about it. when was this posted anyway okay this was posted on the 16th of march so i think it was like maybe like less than two weeks since she got the hundred thousand before she got it i have no idea let's go oh look at that card that means it's real this couldn't possibly fake a card oh Look at that padding. You remember your first oh my god, it has the YouTube seal on it. It must be real. <laughs> See, this is my biggest problem. Because, like, she is, like, doing all this. She's doing this unboxing, like, purely to try and slam dunk on the haters. Because that's it's entirely what she's doing. She's trying to prove, haha, see, I have it. But, like, it, it's like I said, like, ages. I'm trying to remember what it was for a bite. But it was like, if someone's willing to, oh, yeah, it was like, on Berlin, in, in my retro perspective, was talking about how she has a real signature of Kate Winslet, and she bought it for back for her birthday. She's like, it's real. It has an, a, a certificate. You know, they're not real if they don't have a certificate. And I was like, if they're willing to fake a, uh, like the signature of like a famous celebrity, they're willing to like make up a fake certificate. Just because you got this printed on basic ass white A4 paper and not wet signed or anything like that, this, this doesn't mean any. I literally could make this for myself. I was thinking about doing like a full skit, but then I also realized I can't be fucked because I'm really lazy. I was thinking about doing a skit where I got my fucking 100,000 plaque. Subscriber? Your 100th or your 1,000th? Oh my subscriber? god, you're suddenly quiet. Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100th. Do you remember your first subscriber, your 100th? Your third? Chances are you do. I, I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think you do, personally. Like, I'm sorry. Who was my first subscriber? I have no idea. Sorry. I have no idea. If you were number one, I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Hundredth? I don't even remember when I hit hundred on either of my accounts, like, anymore. A thousandth? Uh, nope. Also, once again, because you aren't really told. You aren't really told that. I don't, also don't even remember when I hit a thousand. Apart from, on my main account, it was October 2022. And I only remember that, like, because that's when Boogie did his begging video, and I gained, like, 600 subscribers in, like, a week. <laughs> thousandth subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. Friend, that's a loaded word. Their reaction channel would be better. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed, Did and their they? numbers increased because of you and Did the community they? you've built. 
It, We're proud mm. to honor your impressive milestone. You know what? I will give her one thing. She has built a substantial community around her. However, weirdly, the audience didn't stay with her. They stayed with the community that's been built around her because no one fucking watches her. Point of reaching 100,000 subscribers oh. with the Silver Creator Award. Oh my award. god. Congratulations. Why is there weird spacing there? This is the kind of like unprofessional stuff I'm not sure if I buy. Patience. We know that you have many more stories to share with your community. And yeah. we know your fans can't wait still to hear some stuff. more with your commitment and creativity. So keep. <laughs> Hi. Like, especially Foodie Beauty. How the fuck could you read this with any form of straight face? We know your fans can't wait for you to amaze them with even more of your commitment and creativity. What are you going to do today, Foodie? I'm going to change my name, eat a pizza, and call FFG a whore. It's like. Oh, just like we do every day, Pinky. <laughs> it's just like, fuck's sake, bro, come on. Creating. Keep building. Keep building, can't wait go to on. see what you'll do next, and we're here to- It's so weird, Foodie, that you're on, like, 98,000 subscribers. Goober agrees. You're on 98,000 subscribers for, like, one solid year, and then suddenly you gained 3,000 subscribers in an incredibly short period of time when your view counts were also going down. It's really weird how that worked. And then the second you got over, just over- 100,000, like just like 101,000, so it's a wee bit convincing. Suddenly, there was literally zero subscribers. Zero new subscribers since then. It's so weird. It's almost like, I thought I'm not suggesting anything here that they were bought. Support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to you and ask, imagine. do you remember your 100,000th subscriber? Oh my god, imagine. We should do a campaign to get Foodie a million subscribers just so her fucking ego can tear her in half. You're sincerely... Neil I wonder what costs more, that cheap Ramadan decoration or this plaque that she bought. <laughs> oh man, future CEO. Wow, sure. Every day, Mariam. Oh my god. Like I said, I'm just so not impressed. Hey, how about you brush your cat? How about you put that down for two seconds and actually brush your cat? How about that? I don't know. I just suggest you just pop that at the top of my head. Imagine firstly having it in the wrong name, which is fucking hilarious. And secondly, like I said, you can buy these off like Amazon. I think they're like thirty quid. Like I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm not impressed. You're welcome, Mariam. Sorry. Ev every day the beauty or foodie or whatever the fuck they're called now. Anything? Oh my god! Look at it. Where does she start and where does she end? What what is tit and what is arm? What the? Does she go all the way over to there now? What the fuck? She's a Big old girl. <laughs> it's just like, there is no difference. There's no change there. She just blends together. If you told me that she was like genuinely just like a butt plug, I would believe you because she is that shit. Oh, well, there she goes. Look at her roll. Wow. It's weird that you're holding so far away. It's almost, it's almost like you don't want us to have a good look at it. Very close. Hey guys. <laughs> oh my uh, God, really? Is that all we're going to get to see? I'm not going to check ahead, but is that all we're going to get to see? Ah, Mariam, you tricky minx, yeah. Remember my first subscriber, but I do remember all of you when I no, see you, you leave comments like or who? chats like in who? my live streams. Like who? Like who? Like there, there's like no like recognizable faces anymore, you know? Like her holy trinity is gone. All of her beezers are gone. Like it's every single time you look at her chat, it's like... A couple trolls, and like they're very blatant, obvious trolls. Oh, I guess teardrop. Sorry, I guess I guess we have teardrop. Teardrop, the one and only, the one who stuck through it all. It also does feel like yesterday that I started my channel by doing Ipsy hauls back in 2017. Does it? That's I would lay depressing. on my bed and talk excitedly with my Gram Spare about my videos and how I was excited that I made 50 bucks. <laughs> I said, imagine Grams, I could make this my job. She is she actually seriously making up this like fake story just to pretend she like wasn't awful to her grandmother? Because like that's obviously what people have been talking about a lot recently. And ever since then, I have never, ever, Cooper has never, ever heard her mention her fucking granny before. But suddenly, once everyone starts saying you were cooked out of your mind, you didn't give a fuck when your granny died, suddenly it's like, I remember lying there with my dear grandma, and I would say grandma. Do you believe I'm making you me? Of course, my dear, beautiful darling. I, of course, believe in you because I love you so much. And it's so nice that you're always here visiting me. You know, there's normal conversations we'd have like that. She didn't believe it at the time. Embarrassing. And she's gone. And all I wish is that she could see my achievement today. <laughs> see my achievement today. Oh, well, no, wait. That's not what you're wishing. You're wondering if she could see. What was it? Oh, your OnlyFans. That's what you were wondering. You know that time you came on high? Like, the, I think it was the night she died. And you're like, oh, oh my God. You think she's dead? She could see me, like, take a picture of myself and stuff like that. And I, uh, I think it was that. I think it was that. I wasn't, like, sure if you wanted to see your 100,000 plaque 
or your vagina. I, I, you know what? They're, they're both cost exactly the same, so I'm really not sure. Now, my journey on YouTube has been hard. It's has been it? fun, has it? but hard a lot of times. No, it hasn't. It's not easy being a social media public figure, especially- Cringe! I'm glad you joined in. Thanks, I didn't want to be doing that by myself the entire time. <laughs> Unbearable fucking cringe. It's not easy being a social media influencer. I would throw myself out a window. <laughs> fucking cringe. Probably a controversial one. I look a back controversial one? I okay. Really should have Con controversial has to mean that there's some people who like you and some people who dislike you. If everyone dislikes you, you're not controversial. You're controversial. <laughs> I wonder if that's gonna... I'm gonna leave that in. I wonder if that's gonna slip past YouTube's auto detection system because usually they go for that word hard. So let's see. Tried harder to make better content. But you know yeah, you what? Have, yeah. Then I think... I'm right where I need to be, honestly. Sitting in a fart box alone, uh, airbrushing my wedding ring out of my profile picture before I got called out for it and I put it back, and eating so many cheeseburgers, I've actually become a cheeseburger. I'm where I need to be in life. I trust in God's plan, and I don't regret sharing God's plan. with you all after all. I know my stories have helped many laugh and feel less lonely, and I appreciate you all. Does anyone feel less lonely with like, like, like with Foodie, especially with Foodie, when Foodie like doesn't interact with people, you know? It's like her mukbangs, you know, the whole like, you're, I'm glad you're eating with me. Like, th I don't feel like I'm there with you because you're just sitting there going like, right, yeah, so, um, I remember when I had a, um, a cake. Hey guys, do you want to, do you want to open playing cards with me? Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm opening my whole life vice votes. In, uh, in Japanese summer collection. Oh, oh, Mikochi, oh, oh, Asora, oh, fantastic. There you go. I really hope you guys enjoyed the experience of opening those. You, you're not less lonely. You're, it's a, it's like a video you're throwing out into the void. Like live streams, I guess, is a bit of social interaction there, but a video there really isn't social interaction. And I apologize if my words are away my cards now. Anyone. No, you and don't. I want to continue you to share my fuck. journey with you. You don't get I fuck. truly couldn't have reached this milestone without you guys. <laughs> now you're a without you guys, especially the people I bought subs from. I mean, it's, it's, I, 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 you, you, beloved viewers. How many people what? Wait, six thousand. How many six thousand people watch this? I have a hundred thousand people though. Like, bro, come on. Like, I don't know. I would feel a shame just lying to you this fucking blatantly. Probably wondering, and many of you are disappointed, especially those who have followed me since the beginning about this, but you're probably wondering Explain why what? I changed my channel name. Well, uh, what... because someone's making a documentary about you and you freak the fuck out and you want to change it. Also, because you were trying to get subscribers from Muslim communities and you were trying to act like you were a good revert. And that's why you had, like, Salah like typing in uh, you know Arabic for you and that's why you change your name and why you start doing all these vlogs where you're like the dainty Muslim lady and now once you have your plaque you've changed it into Foodie the fucking beauty as if you're like an anime character or something like that and taking all references of Muslim out of the fucking title. When I look back at my Foodie beauty life and content I truly don't feel this is like that so same messy person. Well, I don't know if that's an admission that she does now suddenly in the last two days feel like that's a messy person. I wonder if she's going to reorder because like the plaque, like the, the YouTube plaque, like if you lose it or whatever, you can reorder it for a fee. So I wonder if she is going to like, like, because I'm imagining this is real and not just bought from fucking like eBay or something like that. I wonder if she has got the Everyday Merriam one. And now she's going to buy the Foodie the Beauty one or whatever as well, so she has two plaques. And she probably will pretend that she has two fucking channels. I feel like someone else. Yeah. I feel like Huge, all that I have been through has allowed Cheesy. me to, you know, find God. And I wanted to rebrand. Clearly. Now, I'm Imagine she is saying all this airy-fairy shit, like, oh, like, just over a week before she freaked the fuck out on her community tab post and freaked the fuck out so hard that she more than likely got herself suspended for a week. I, I find God, guys, I'm such a different... I'm not the messy foodie, the beauty anymore. I'm not totally a new person. We are Obviously. who we are. And I still am a We mess. are who we are. <laughs> the fake laugh. The fake laugh whenever she says something and got this meant to be like, I'm so insightful. Always makes me cringe upside my own asshole, like... But let's be honest, I probably always will be. 
yeah. but I have a new outlook on life yeah. and yeah. even though it's not always apparent yeah. um, for those looking from the outside in I really do and I hope I can continue to make changes for the better. Well, it's just like the fact that you can't show it. I think that's the biggest problem. It's like people can see a difference. It's like when you lose weight, people can see a difference. They can see that you lost weight. You don't have to go around and tell people, hey, by the way, I lost weight. People can see. <laughs> or keep trying at the ones that I have not yet been successful at changing. Oh my God. Now, Thank even if this channel name isn't permanent, don't get me wrong, I hope it is, permanent. but even if it isn't, and I changed it down. Oh, this is a great one to watch right after the change. The line. It would be fitting, considering my personality, to have a plaque with a different name than my channel. Who yeah. knows, if I ever- It's almost like you're schizophrenic or something like that. For each one million, maybe that plaque will say something else also. Really? Really, who knows? Imagine, case, imagine even saying that. Like, that's cringe. Like, that is just, like, purely cringe. It's like, I will never come out here and be like, guys, what, if I reach my million, maybe, maybe you'll still have Girl World Ireland written on it. <laughs> cringe, unbearable. I just wanted to thank you all for getting me here. Love me or hate me, Don't you worry. got me here today, and yes. that's all that matters. You know what? She actually acknowledged that the reaction channels did drag her ass to the finish line. And I just wanted to show some gratitude. I don't know where this journey will take me, but uh, I hope you will. Ambulance, are. ER, um, intensive care, a morgue? I'm going to, I, I think maybe even in that order. I'll still be here to witness some of it. Thanks again. Oh my Have god, that's so depressive. Like, okay, fantastic. So that's her getting her 100,000 silver play button from YouTube. Wink. So uh, I hope you all feel enlightened. I hope you all are happy that we all we all got her there. We helped her. We dragged her through the mud, and we made her a star. Those shining stars back there. That is FFG Yaba, Pulpy, Mrs. Snowflake, all holding her fat ass up in orbit there. Okay, guys, going to go to the next one here. Okay, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't even realize that the C pop rap member only. What? Is, is next, I guess, this sexy machine sitting here in front of the disco world that the Chantal has created for us. Oh, I, I can't. I, I don't know how. I don't I don't know what to say really, but I guess we're just going to have to go into this. I have yet to hear this. I bet it's going to be incredible. All right, guys. Oh, thanks to deep breathing. My uh, CPAP machine. I have a little wrap wrapping okay. for you for my CPAP machine. Fantastic. The Do you sit? I wonder if she like is talking about CPAP. Because if you look at it from a distance, it's going a wee bit. It looks like you're saying crap, crap. And then she's just hoping Salah misreads it. And Salah accidentally watches this video 400,000 times to get her a better extra money or something like that. This Terrible. thing has been through a lot. It's been assaulted. It has. Defaced. It has. And it's Salah keeps farting in it every night now because he wants you to breathe his farts. It's weird, but you know what? It means he stays with me, so I guess I might as well. It's been around the world. Has it? With me. Always by my side. CPAP pride. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Deuces east side. Let's go. Oh, three, two, one. Let's jam. Well, I've been everywhere. Man. Where did the beat go? <laughs> she said she had everything she does. Where did the beat go? I was waiting for anything to happen there. And it's a back it, back it, back it. Well, today I was in my bedroom and I did forecast. And it's like, bro, it suddenly turned into like a science lecture. Jesus. Okay, of course you're hiding Ireland back there. Can't can't see Ireland back there. Thanks, you big bitch. Man, I've been everywhere. I've been more places than you, but you act like you don't care. You haven't. Uh, like you haven't. The C pop has been she didn't take it to Cuba, I remember that. So she didn't take it to Cuba. It's been to Canada. She didn't take it to America when she went. She's taken it so it's in Canada. And Kuwait. Did she take it to Thailand? Because that's three places. Okay, that's three places in total. And I'm going to say, in my most recent holiday there, I did also go to three places. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, in my one holiday, I beat your CPAP machine. Ha! Suck it, CPAP machine! More like C-crap machine! This machine has definitely seen hotel walls that weren't very clean. Wow. I've had my nose removed in Gatineau, but that... Okay. Okay, okay, guys, I'm going to, like, okay, this is going to sound conspiracy theorist. See that? That is what is called a goblin shark. I don't know if that's deliberate or not, because goblin shark, because she showed, like, a motel. She claims uh, FFG is from a motel. That's a goblin shark. Goblin, obviously. I, is 
Me, am I am I re, am I reaching here? Am I stretching here? Because that's a I know that specifically because I watched a fucking terrible movie about goblin sharks. That was years ago, though. Oh. Since then, I've been to Windsor, Ontario, Ooh. visiting Carly Steele. It was a cool scenario. I don't know who the fuck any of these people are, but uh, did you bring enough pixels for the class there, love? Then I got dragged to a Cuba resort. My did only you? reached about relish or something of the sort. Oh, those evil white people. Ah, she has the photoshopping abilities I have, though, which is, I guess is outstanding. Did she take it to Cuba? I didn't think she took it to Cuba. Okay. Now stamp that in my passport. Another day, yep. another airport security check. X-rayed my machine, baby. I mean, what the heck? I ain't got no terrible i also got stopped both times i went through uh, airport like security like in customs i got stopped both times because i always get stopped that is the recurring joke of my family is that i always get stopped in customs and i once again always got stopped in customs nothing to hide only continuous air pressure pride i keep my mama alive and i don't take it in <laughs> we got a big hairy minge just hanging out there oh wait never mind that's her pussy oh wait never mind <laughs> Why is your shot you sitting there like a proud mother at like her school uh, assembly or something like that on a stool sitting there just staring at your parade of food? <laughs> like why why is this the picture you picked for yourself? Also, keeping my mama alive. It's like wouldn't you rap that song and immediately be like, oh god, oh that's oh that's really depressing. If I if I don't have a CPAP, I will literally die. Oh, that's really would, would that not like ring in your head at all? Instead of being like, here's me with my fucking yogurt. Try it. Oh, I'm a CPAP machine, oh. and I've been to more countries than you. Nope, yeah. I'm a CPAP Fuck machine, you. and I need some credit because what I've been through is truly insane. My that didn't even rhyme. There was, what the fuck? I was thought she was gonna say machine. I'm mean. I don't want to be mean. Um. I, I, I'm c so clean. I, I, I gleam, you know, so I don't know anything. I was like, it's like, I'm, I fuck, I'm at M and M here trying to think of what rhymes with orange, <laughs> you know, but no, it's just like nothing. Gee, you didn't even put effort into this. Journey was scary, but I know Carrie because sleep apnea is the one. She rhymes scary with Carrie. Jesus Christ. No wonder she's so hairy. <laughs> Boom. Are we sleep apnea awareness? Like this was an actual thing. Like this was actually like there was a message behind the C pop rap folks. Sleep apnea awareness. <laughs> Fuck me sideways. God. Uh okay, the fantastic. What's that better or worse than like anything else she's ever did? Ever did? Ever done. I think I had a stroke there. Uh terrible. The worst thing in the world. Why couldn't she rhyme? That was a crime. Haha, <laughs> West Side. Okay, <laughs> go to the next video. Okay, I did know I didn't I didn't think the next one was okay. I didn't think the next one honestly was going to be a song again. I didn't think it was her Madonna cover. Um uh, Goober has left the room, so Goober can't even sing along with me as we sing La Isla Bonita Acapella cover. Acapella scares me immensely because I know there's not gonna be a backing song. Uh yeah, okay. I guess we're just gonna listen to this. We're probably not gonna do you as much of because the CPAP machine. Like, that's an actual, like, rap that she made. This is her, but, like, probably badly singing a song. So, like, eh. La Isla Bonita. La Isla Bonita. Madonna. Madonna. Everyday Miriam. Body. Como booty, puede booty. ser verdad. Last night I dreamt of San Pedro. Yeah. Just like I never gone, I knew the song. Wow. Young girl with eyes like the desert. I thought she was maybe gonna change the lyrics or something like that, but no. All of nature, wild and free. This is where I love. Yeah, it is just her like singing with a lot of reverb for it, which is kind of like bad because it's just her singing like acapella, which is just her like singing with no backing song. Uh, I've heard lots of people sing a cappella because especially if you're like a, a YouTuber fan like I am, like Aki Rosenthal did like a Aki Pella, um, Fumoko, they released like a cappella covers of their like songs. Um, this obviously doesn't really compare. I thought she'd maybe change the lyrics or something like that and it'd be a wee bit more fun, but it's, it's just not. So uh, what I'm going to make you do is I'm going to make you guys listen to this uh, on point zero five. to be... La Isla Bonita. It 
sounds like the soundtrack of the fucking Conjuring or something like that. It sounds like that metal on metal sound when you slow her voice down that much because of the fucking amount of reverb she has on to try and hide her actual voice. Uh, terrible. Yeah, I'm probably not going to show any more of this because it's it's just her badly singing Madonna. Uh, do, do, like, do you guys want to hear me badly sing Madonna? No. Because why would you want to hear someone badly sing Madonna? Madonna already badly sings Madonna. <laughs> it's gonna probably be very divisive in the audience there. Let's go to the next video. Okay, guys, and that is us back. This is Rainy Ramadan 2024 vlog and Muslim revert problems. This is the one that has like the judgmental Muslim community or something like that uh, as the, the the thumbnail on it. Uh, I guess you're just gonna get straight into because I know she's being called out by pretty much everyone because like it, like okay. See the way, like, for, like, if someone's like, I'm a, I'm a Christian, and people are like, okay, cool, you're a Christian, that's fantastic, and they generally don't care, but then if you show up, and you're, like, screaming your religion, like, I am a Christian, I follow Le Leviticus, blah, 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 and you start screaming scripture at someone, and you're very, like, set on, I am so divine, I know the scriptures, I am so holy and pious, but then you're caught not following that, that's what makes it a big deal. Just if you're just like a normal everyday Christian and you aren't following every single like part of the of the code or the creed or whatever, people generally don't care. But when you claim like you're the most holy person who's ever existed and don't follow it, that's when people can point out the hypocrisy. That's what Foodie did. Foodie can be just like, hey guys, I, um, I'm a Muslim now. Like, we would have all known it was still a cause to play. But she can't just be like, I, I'm, I'm just a Muslim now, but I'm, I'm a very forward-thinking Muslim. I follow, I like I, I like the Quran, but I like to use it as like a guideline, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. She can't, she can't do that. She has to be like, the LGBT community, I don't agree with them existing. See, that, that has to be like one of her first statements. Women, oh my God, all whores. Everyone needs to dress like her, everything in God. That, that, that's her. That's why you can call her out. Because she is pretending to be super pious, but failing at everything else. Ugh. 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 Hey can guys, we not? So Thanks. going to go up for a little bit. It's raining. So though. exciting. Um, so yeah. Where are we sitting? Are you actually sitting in the lobby? Did you get tired walking to the elevator and taking the elevator down to the lobby of your building? Or are you like, I don't know, maybe she's so demanding. Maybe Salah hasn't arrived yet to pick her up. That's it. Ah, see, I was originally going to say, maybe she's so demanding. She told Salah, drive to the front door. I'm not walking to the car. I think maybe that. But I'm actually going to go for the other idea. And uh, Salah hasn't arrived yet. She got down there too early. So she has to wait for Salah to show up. Go for a ride. Maybe yep. a walk if the rain eases up. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is our lobby. Yep. This is our Part lobby. Anyway. Wow, look how lively it is. <laughs> it's it's a nice lobby, but it's like I said before, coming from like a small... It, this looks like one of the hotels I stayed at, you know? This looks like a hotel. I don't walk into something like this and see like communal couches, which is probably a cultural thing, and go like, ah, a house, you know, this is my, this is my home. Back through there, there's a pool and a little gym. Have you, have you ever been to there? Well, I've seen you in the gym. You went backwards on the elliptical. Have you ever been to the pool? That would probably be really good for you. Water probably calls to you. It's like, Chantel, come home. <laughs> Join the pod. Oh. I can't believe we have such little going on in our lives. She has to... Uh, she has to walk around and, like, show us. This is what my lobby looks like. It's got some... It's got a couch over there. And this is a... Is it another couch and uh, uh, another couch. It's like, okay, Chantel, Miriam, we get it. I'm waiting for Salah to go get the umbrella. Ah, to go get the um Did you guys go all the way downstairs without an umbrella, even though it's pissing rain, apparently? Did it only start? Did the rainstorm suddenly hit? during your elevator ride. How long was your elevator ride that you didn't see this coming? No, what you're doing is you're waiting for Salah to arrive from his other house to pick you up. There you go, I corrected for you. I'm a bit of an English major myself. Are you sweating already? Did you see her? She hasn't even left the lobby yet. She's sweating. Damn, girl. Yep, yep, oh, look at that. It doesn't rain often in Kuwait. Yep, I know. But when it does- It's a desert. I get it. I think a child could get that. You give a, give a, a toddler, give a toddler a crayon, like a yellow and a blue crayon, be like, do, do these go well together that often? Does it does it rain in the desert? I'm sure the toddler's gonna be like, bro, no, I'm not stupid, come on. Because it's usually in the winter. Otherwise in the summer there's sandstorms. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my God, look at her hobbling. How the fuck are you 
hobbling down those stairs. Like, do you see that last little fucking step? Look at this. Look at the hobble. Look at the side to side little fucking shimmy. It's like she was in rugby. She's about to sidestep me. Hi, camera. I'm glad we're back to that level. Her with her family. <laughs> can't believe it like also it's once again one of those shots where she is like the small that bus has as much dignity in this shot as she does because she is so cramped down like lower like why do we need this we don't need to see the sky we don't need to see all the shit up here if you want to include the bosses drop it down about three feet and you actually get all of her in the shot there you go fantastic but i'm glad we're back to the, the romantic part of the vlogs where it's like be romantic uh hi hello Wave. Hi. Remember that shit? Remember when they used to do vlogs together and that was the extent of their romances occasionally? They would look at each other and go, hello, and that was it. Yep. Yep, that's something, I guess. Jesus Christ. This is why I'm convinced she wears layers of spanks under there. Because she always wears, like, numerous layers. It doesn't make sense for a woman who sweats from fart and light. But she doesn't move. There's no shimmy. There's no shake. There's no jiggle. If, if the doctor showed up and did the jiggle test on her, it wouldn't fucking go. She is solid under there. And either that is just, like, a solid fucking hernia, or she is wearing chin spanks to, like, suck her in and hold her in as tight as possible. Wow. I love she keeps like looking like are you still filming? Oh are we still are we, are we still are we still filming? Are we still filming? Are we still Sir, do you mind? Okay, fantastic. My goal was completed. I, I wasn't walking like, but I'm glad that I got my steps by sitting still. See, this is like a little hint for you guys of how animated my hands are when I'm talking. I apparently hit ten thousand steps there. The roads are flooded. Oh big my time. god, crazy. Not big time, those are just like normal like water on the road. Maybe I'm flooded weird. Because that, that happens all the fucking time in Ireland too, so maybe I'm weird because that's just like normal. I'm in whenever there's heavy rainfall here in Quake. What? No! What? No! No! When there's lots of water, water lies. No! She's a f yes, we know. <laughs> that's just what happens. It's tarmac. It's not very absorptive. Yep, they got us go. Oh, nothing made me laugh more than if she dropped her fucking phone out there and all. Specifically, only the filters broke. Look at her go. Oh, that's a speed bump. So Sal is filming this because this is on the driver's side, isn't it? They drive, it's the left side, yeah. So like, Sal is filming this. This is far too far over unless she's like holding the phone in front of his face, maybe hoping to make him crash. Maybe they've had an argument and she's holding her phone in front of his face trying to get him to crash or something like that. But I'm assuming Sal is filming this again then. Yep, this is still driving. I guess they probably think this is ASMR. And yeah, like we we have got pretty much this full confirmation. Yeah, it is it, it, it is Salah driving whilst filming. I'm assuming the effort of holding her phone up was too much work for our dainty Mariam. Like so, Salah's driving and filming. I guess. Right now, I'm gonna break the fast with a date or a camera and some Fantastic. water. Fantastic! I oh my god, that was that was two minutes straight of uh, driving footage. Uh, outstanding. Let's go. It's Miller. Yep. Are we seriously trying to pretend this is the first thing she's eaten that day? Like, come on, bro. I can see the size of you. Oh, first bite. Surely during... What the fuck? Yeah. I'm glad you just threw that out onto the roads there. I'm, glad. I'm sure I'm sure no one will have to come along and clean that up for you. Thanks, Miriam. Jesus. So thirsty. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the way he gets down low to film her. So she looks even bigger. Like, this is why this is why the humiliation thing. You know why the whole Kybella, he only wants to use you as a toilet? He never filmed Kybella at this angle. So I think it's worse for you. <laughs> Do we seriously get a digital zoom to be like, look, she is actually drinking the water. She's not just holding it to her mouth, guys. Trust me. Wow. It's kind of raining pretty hard. It's not really the best weather to go for a nice walk. He never went for walks. I always had a boat. Why? Why would it be be more dry on the boat? Can you explain that to me? You'd be surrounded by water then. Oh God! Not just fucking music. Oh, 
Fantastic. Obviously, okay, I'm going to make the sound of things. Oh my God, look at the size of her. Oh my God, she's not wearing socks. She probably can't put her socks on. Oh my God, she's wearing slip-on shoes. Obviously, because she can't actually bend down and put her shoes on anymore. That Salah is filming while driving. She is wearing socks. She is wearing slip-on shoes out in the rain. I don't know why you'd do any of that because that just sounds stupid altogether. But yeah, that's more than likely the reason, okay. Look at the speed. Okay, I'm going to put her down to one time speed. One time speed. Look at the speed. This is her walking. This is actually the speed of her walk. Sir, shut up! This is actually the speed of her walking. At one time speed. Not sped up or anything. Not like 1.25 speed or anything. She tried to do a dainty I'm so cute spin. And she nearly lost balance and instantly nearly ate shit. Rotating 30 degrees. At a girl. Fantastic, Miriam. You're shit at everything you do oh my god she's back fantastic i'm so glad we got to escape for five minutes out of this 15 minute fucking video let's go Hi guys oh you're in sped up though oh god you gotta have some water oh my god thank god i didn't believe that you actually consumed water we'll need another digital zoom though just to be safe well i take off my makeup why are you sweating again <laughs> All right, so... Sorry, there's a jump cut. There she ran late. Julia walked past her. She grabbed Julia and lifted her up and showed how matted Julia's fur was and how badly she looks after her cats. And then she kissed her cat because I, th I think she thinks holding up a matted cat that looks like it's being mistreated. I think she thinks if I hold it up and kiss it and go, Hi, Yankee! It's a baby girl! I think she thinks it means that she's a good person. It doesn't, but you know, whatever. To remove my makeup, I'm using these Annabelle Fantastic. oil remover pads, which are great. Wow. Outstanding. Oh, I bet you removed. I, 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 I'm well used to your squeaky chair. I'm used to your squeaky fucking everything at this point. Just blame it. I, I bet she just keeps the squeaky chair specifically around. So when she farts, she can blame it on the chair. I'm glad she's removing the makeup. Can you remove the filters too? In case you haven't noticed. All right. Now I want to talk to you guys about being a bad Muslim. Um, being bad at everything. Islam. I'm okay. a revert. Yep. Um, being I bad at it. last September. Did you? No, you did. No, you didn't. You took it. Uh, the September before last. She's so fucking... Why is she stupid at everything? It's like with the hamster thing. It's like, I think... I, I've, ha I've had it for a, a year. I think about a year. Or so, she can't even remember. She claims she loves her hamster so much. Doesn't remember when she fucking got the hamster though. Doesn't remember when she took her shahada. It was a year and a half ago. And it wasn't September last year. Because she said she got married... In 2022, in November 2022, because remember she did the anniversary in November 2023, and when they got married, she was a Muslim. Remember they've said they rushed to make her a Muslim first because she wanted to get married as a Muslim. So she obviously would have had to take her shahada first because the shahada is what makes you a Muslim. I, I believe I'm right there. I've no. also, also, September was like after or during her being in Thailand, and she had done the shahada far before that. One thing I noticed since becoming a revert is why are you so bad at everything the you do? Community can be very judgmental. Uh huh. Just I used like to be you. Catholic, okay. Okay, so. And as a Catholic Christian, I literally never ever had anyone. Oh even my god. Even like I was a public figure, right? Um, I never had. Any even as a public figure, <laughs> well, yes, because you weren't like a real Catholic either. The one time you pretended to be in any way religious was Cuba, and everyone laughed at you for pretending to be religious for Cuba as well. And that's when you're pretending to be like a super devout Catholic as well. Like it, like this would have been exactly the same if Foodie had like pissed off everyone, done all this terrible stuff, been a total fucking awful person, abusive to all of her partners, everything like that. And then the next day, instead of showing up looking like this, she showed up. Dressed like a fucking nun or like a sister of battle at a fucking Warhammer 40k. And it's like, I am the most devout person who has ever been devout. Pray unto me for I am basically Mary Magdalene. Anyone, Christian or Catholic, preach to me about the rules of Catholicism and how uh -huh. I'm being a bad Christian okay. or something like that. Well, firstly, I'm sure Luke, you're lying. I'm sure people did correct you, like, constantly, especially any time you brought up. But the big problem was, like I said, you didn't claim to be, like, a super Catholic. You weren't pretending to be basically a nun before you did this whole thing. And it's since you did this whole thing where you are like, I am the most pious person who's ever existed, and I am casting judgment onto, like, everyone. You know, she is judging everyone. She is criticizing how women dress, uh, relationships. She's criticized people for having sex before marriage. 
Her, the woman we don't even think is fucking married and also, to be fair, isn't breaking that rule because she's also not having any sex. So, like, she is the one who's judging other people and then when people criticize her, she's like, are you all judging me so much? Christians didn't judge me. It's like, the fuck, what are you talking about? But now as a revert, I find that the community, the Muslim community online especially, can be very judgmental. I get all the oh time people coming for me, like, Islam police, like, wee, 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 wee. that's a siren. Anyway. Wow, you can tell she's annoyed. If she has to explain her, like, snark, you can tell she's really simmering over here. Things like the Haram police, you know? Uh -huh. Saying things like, um, I don't know, just commenting on, like, makeup. I think... Saying things like, um, and has to jump cut. Like, she is so, like, she, because she's so bad at taking criticism and it, none of it fucking sinks in. She couldn't even remember any of the criticism that she had received. <laughs> she had to do a jump cut. Too, like, you know, your hijab is not fully covering or yeah. this and that. Um, you shouldn't be you saying this. You shouldn't be smoking shisha. Yeah. You know, you should be eating with the left hand. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. Isn't it your memory not eating with the left hand? So, like, I'm glad she, like, totally didn't understand it. Um, so, I just want to say, uh, go easy on, on people. Like, not no, just that. Never. I refuse like, to. Let people observe their religion worship how they want to and like at their own pace yes exactly foodie maybe you shouldn't have told like the lgbt community you disagree with them existing maybe you shouldn't have told people that you disagree with premarital sex maybe you shouldn't have talked about women showing off their bodies and basically being uncouth because of it like a person who's reverted like a year year and a half ago even like a few years ago is not the same as somebody who's uh -huh. born into it okay no shit bro. um but also, we would expect someone who is like, you know, it's like, for example, if I say, I'm going to go and live in Spain, and I go across and I stay in Spain, and someone comes up to me, and I'm and it's in there, it's a nice Spanish restaurant, and the waiter comes up to me, and is like, hola, and it asks me in Spanish what I'd like, and I'm like, ah, uh, man, I speak English, and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I've seen you around before, I thought maybe you'd ingratiated in our culture, it's like, I've only been here a year and a half. I haven't learned any Spanish yet. Be easy on me. Something like that. It's like, you're like, you've moved into their culture. You have like gone the most pious of pious. And it has been a year and a half. I'd expect you to have learned or done fucking anything at all to actually learn about the customs, the culture, or even at any point, stop pretending to read the Quran and actually just fucking read the Quran. It's not up to somebody to judge someone because... It well, That's between them you'd hit and me. Allah. You'd hit me. Not, it's not between me and other sisters and brothers. It's up to between okay. me and Allah. Okay. Stop judging other people, um, you crazy bitch. Because you know what? Good yeah, point. I still have trouble with a lot of things. Still judge um, a lot of people. Yes. One of them. Music. You know, it's frowned upon to listen to music in Islam. Well, I'm have, I'm struggling. This is why I say she can't even be like like I, I'm a for I, I I'm a Muslim. But I, I like this part and this part, but I don't believe in this part. I'm not very strict. I don't go by this scripture. I really try and focus on this. Then I believe that Allah would want me to believe in this. Then I think I've interpreted it this way. She's not doing that. She is the type of person who is like super hardcore. You know, like we're not allowed to listen to music. We're not allowed to watch films, you know, because like uh, there's like a sect of Islam where it's like uh, you're not allowed to like recreate anything that Allah has created. So you're not allowed to show like pictures and their art is just like shapes and colors pretty much because you're not meant to be representing anything like she has gone for like that as what she's trying to pretend is her end goal when like 99.9% .9 of Muslims are not that with that's why people that criticize you because you're nuts um I'm struggling with a lot of things makeup stuff like that you know smoking food shisha once in a while things that I've frowned upon but cannabis, uh, gluttony, uh, calling people whores. That struggle with that one. Every once in a while, I may call someone a fat, ugly whore. But you know, Allah forgives me. I don't, it just slips out. If I delete it after it works, Allah, uh, I only do it when Allah's sleeping because then he won't see me do it. <laughs> see? That's how I get around the rules. That's between me and Allah. And is it? The one thing you have to remember is. <laughs> Apparently, it's between you and YouTube based on how the last week's gone. What makes. A Muslim, a, a kafir, is uh -huh. a non-believer, is somebody who doesn't pray at all. I'm trying to, okay, I'm not going to let's say, I, I've been sitting there the whole time, because I don't know what kafir means. I immediately thought of the, the, the yogurt drink. 
And I was thinking, going like, I don't know how culty it sounds. People are going to say if I make a joke about, well, you're not a keffer, you're a heifer. I'm not sure if that's going to be called to insensitive. And I thought long and hard on it, and I still decided to make that joke. So you're not a keffer, you're a heifer, love. There you go. <laughs> you no, know, or makes no effort. Um, you don't make any effort. Even that is between that person and Allah. Okay. So a person who smokes shisha is still a Muslim. Then no stop advertising yourself as a Muslim. If, if your entire religion is between you and Allah, then your entire channel shouldn't be about your religion and you showing off your religion and you talking about your religion and why you can do this and why people should act like this and how you don't agree with certain groups of people or certain people doing certain things, that kind of shit. If that is how you actually feel, then why is this your content? Why are you constantly showing like, oh, call to prayer, <laughs> we happy face, when like we've never seen you actually go to a mosque in response to the call for prayer. You sit there filming the call for prayer instead of fucking praying. You sit up on live streams and you miss pray time, prayer times, but you claim, oh, I have 13 alarms set up, so make sure I never miss them. Weirdly, we don't hear a single fucking alarm going off, which clearly shows that you don't actually have alarms set for them. All that can stop making it such a central part of your character when you can't fulfill the role. You're a terrible actor. A person who wears makeup is still a Muslim. A person who um, drinks, even, is still a Muslim. I don't drink, wow. but people who smoke weed still a Muslim. Uh -huh. You know, maybe lost or off the path, but it's still... But they're still Muslim. That was a really good jump cut there. Are you going to mention incredible gluttony? <laughs> Are you going to mention incredible gluttony? Remember that time she was talking recently about Ramadan? It's a time for charity. Let's move on. And then just like, immediately jump cut away. The second she said charity, she jump cut away because obviously she was like, fuck, I don't do charity. <laughs> and you can't judge somebody's journey, you know, just I by can. watching one of their videos. You don't I know can. what you're struggling with. I can There's and I do. There's a lot of reverts who haven't even begun to wear the hijab yet. They need to... Wow. It's almost like... Some people don't have to because they don't believe that's part of the culture. Or they don't believe that's actually part of the religion. Oh my God, it's so insane. I love that she has already done that. You know the whole thing about it? You can't judge me. She's like, there's some ravers who haven't even worn the hijab yet. And like she's setting that boundary for them. Like, well, you're not a real Muslim until you wear the hijab. In her own thing, crying about being people being overly critical to her. She has already get kept what being an actual Muslim revert is. Do it when they're comfortable. The most important thing as a new Muslim or as a Muslim is to pray. As a new Muslim or a Muslim. And repent. But do you? So, but do I'm you? tired of like being judged, you know? Uh-huh. Um, Stop making your I'm character. Perfect, but I do believe in God. Okay, see like, okay, I'm gonna say as a sliding skill. Let's say like one is like totally shit at everything you do and a hundred is perfect. Where do we put Foodie on this scale? I, I like you. It's a one. It's a one. She's obviously one. She's terrible at everything. I'm not perfect. You're not anything. <laughs> You're just not anything. You are terrible at everything you do. And actual Muslims probably find it offensive that you exist. And, you know, I love God. I love I God. Like... I like zombies. <laughs> what is it? I like turtles. Sorry. I like turtles. I fucked up the turtle kid. I like turtles. <laughs> She said it in exactly the same tone. Of, I like God. I sometimes struggle with... <laughs> um, I like turtles. Certain aspects. Like what? Everything? Like Eating? Not being a dick? And judging people? I'm learning on my own. You know, I'm doing a lot of... Like, I do research on it. Uh-huh. Um, Even though you said, like, for the past, like, six months straight that you were joining a course to learn, learn the Quran and go to scholars and all, you do know mosques exist. I know you're aware mosques exist because you fucking film them. All the fucking time. Maybe you wouldn't have to learn on your own if you actually went to your fucking mosque. What it says in the Quran. Um, have you read it yet? But I was page forty-three. I still struggle with, and I'm still learning on my own. And that's my said that? right to do that. So is it though? You know, before rushing here, the Islam police. I don't need your sirens, okay? <laughs> do, do you get it? Remember, remember earlier on, I said we, we, we. That's a siren. Remember, I said that, and definitely wasn't upset. Ha! That's a callback. We were bitches. And I, this is addressing like fellow sisters uh -huh. or other reverts. Like, you know, who- Are men allowed to criticize her? She just hits, I just think she hits women. <laughs> like, weirdly, it's only talking specifically about sisters. It just make, like, it's almost a deterrent to the religion from people being so judgmental. I am not talking about kind educational comments. Okay. Mental in that community. Like, you get those. You know, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. And, and so, it's overwhelming. I mean, oh my god, you're bullying me. I'm being bullied by everyone, including the Muslims. Okay, fantastic. What a poor life you lead, Foodie, that every community you join weirdly thinks you're a piece of shit and awful at everything. My critics on YouTube are not even religious, most of them, or Muslim. I'm not at all. And they come for me with the Islam yep. I don't even care what they say. They look like... 
Well, weird because you keep reacting to it like over and over and over and weirdly over again. Like there's, there's several more overs in that sentence, but I'm just kind of lazy right now. I don't really feel like saying that many overs in a row because like, I don't know. Like she reacts to it all the fucking time, bro. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going to judge you just like you randomly just judge other people like for women not wearing the hijab. I'm going to I'm going to judge you for like, I don't know, being a fucking lunatic and eating like an entire pie. Clowns. Um, they look like clowns. Wow. A Muslim person. They're cl cl clowns. They, they, they look like clowns judging a Muslim person. Sorry, I didn't realize you were the first class citizen and I was sitting back here in the coach. <laughs> all right, all right, bro. So sorry that I dare speak to a Muslim who rins over me. Okay, kind of a weird way to say that. I'm glad also that her only burden was clowns. So good that she had to say it twice and she still stammered the fuck out of it. When they know nothing about it. So, and they're not even Muslim whatsoever. Are you though? Especially when people can correct you and they're not Muslim. That's a real big oopsie fucking whoopsie for you. <laughs> so, but the fellow sisters, like. Just the judged, sisters, not the guys. We get judged hard, right? Because, or like laughed at. I feel like we get ridiculed more from uh -huh. the, the Muslim community, especially online. Okay. And. Well, maybe only if they look like beach wheels or entire bin bikes. Maybe for that. But isn't like the Are You Serious person, the IRL lady, like, isn't she like, like a Muslim? And doesn't she, like, criticize, like, foodie for, like, lots and lots of things? And her reaction to, like, uh, are you serious, oil lady person, like, criticizing her is to, like, insult her and call her not a real Muslim for criticizing her. So, like, you're doing exactly what you're complaining about. Like, I've literally. I've criticism, and I've seen a lot of it, too. And I, myself, have been judgmental sometimes. Like, yes. when I see somebody wearing tight clothing and I'm thinking... That's not how it's supposed to be. But then I like I catch myself and I think. And then I catch myself. See the see this was what the, isn't work because you're using the excuse. I've only been Muslim for a, a year, a, a, a year and a half or so, guys. Like I wasn't born into as an excuse for why you're so terrible at everything you do. However, now you're acting like you have like an instinctual process, like you're very born and raised in a culture where it's like you're you're someone who came from like. Deep, deep Syria, where you learned like the strictest code of Islam, and you've landed and in Florida, and a woman just walked past you in a bikini. You, you're acting like you're having that reaction, and it's like, no, bro, you can't use both excuses. I don't like being judged. I don't. That's not my journey. I, I'm not the one uh. to judge. I'm not God. I'm not Allah. That's between. Uh -huh. Also, I'm going to make a point. Your clothes are tight as all fuck as well. Like, I literally... Remember remember in Thailand, I made a point you could actually see her ass crack through her abaya, which was incredible because it's, like, meant to be a loose-fitting, hanging costume. But she keeps getting so fat. She keeps, like, growing them. So they end up always being skin tight. Him and all the other... You're not God? Really? You know, Damn. To them. So, okay. Didn't know that. Um, I wasn't taking a lot for her to say. People also have different ways of interpreting a religion, you know? Yep. So... Me, I just mostly am um, continuing to read the Quran and learning a lot that way. Um, you pretended you'd finished it. <laughs> you pretended to finish it. You'd taken the fucking bookmark right in the last video. You're terrible at this, Mariam. Religion. And I, I realized maybe I should have done that a lot before actually taking the Shahada. But for me... Did she just say she realizes maybe she should have actually read the Quran before becoming a Muslim? Like, I, I feel like it's going to be a no shit somewhere in this sentence. But like... Damn. Also, I'm not going to lie. I've been looking around for a copy of the crown. Because this is like, in like charity bookshops and stuff like that. I'm not paying any real money for it like whatsoever. Uh, I've been looking around charity bookshops here. But like, there's really nothing. Like, because like, Northern Ireland is like a very Christian country. It's like Protestant Catholic whole thing going on. Like, so like, I, yeah, I, I can't find any. I, I, I unironically was tempted. I was also tempted when I was flying in the plane. They had like the Quran that you could like read on it. I was like, ha, wouldn't it be really funny if I read more of the Quran during my flight than she has? Because she was claiming at that point to be like 42 pages in. And then I was like, oh, wait, never mind. I'm on my holiday. And then I watched Mission Impossible. <laughs> watched seven Mission Impossibles in a row. <laughs> it was like. Sorry, Mary, they continue. Asked me basically, like before reverting, do you believe in that there's one God? Yes, I can take that off. I do. Wow! Oh my god, you're basically a Muslim. Don't ask me any more questions. I'm basically already a full Muslim. <laughs> they asked me, do I believe in God? And I, it, yeah. And they're like, oh, congratulations. <laughs> really? Are we going to go through this? And she's trying to convince us that she, I'm a good Muslim because I can answer these three questions. Um, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his, is his messenger and slave. And it was so unnatural for her to say that. So it's clear that's not something she says very often. I do. Because personally for me, and don't, this is just 
my belief. Everyone oh, I can't has wait. Their own, and you can believe what you want. Uh huh. I believe in the Islam, the the Muslim. The um is the uh, Islam uh, uh, Muslim. Fucking hell. Do you know what? If you have to work this hard to be able to name your own religion, I think you're probably not very devout. I believe in the the. I believe the Muslim <laughs> believe that Jesus was a prophet and he did perform miracles. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, just I'm still trying to get over her trying to figure out how to fucking name her own religion. <laughs> the is Muslim Islamic Arabic Islam Muslim. <laughs> You're terrible at everything. Oh, this is boring as fuck. I'm gonna skip. I'm just saying, you know, Muslim community just. Think about that with reverts, how it can be overwhelming and, you know... It probably wouldn't be overwhelming if you actually knew literally anything about it. Her, her, her whole story is pretty much to say that the two questions, apparently, and I don't know anything about the shahada, so, like, people will have to correct me, and I'm sure they will, is she said the two questions that they pretty much ask you, and if you can answer correctly to both of them, you can just become a Muslim, and it is, do you believe that there is only one God, and do you believe that Jesus is not God or his son? That is apparently the questions, and she said... Yes to both of them. And they were like, oh, congratulations, you're a Muslim now. Apparently, that's how it went. And then she decided to actually research Islam afterwards and how everyone should be nice to her because she went into something entirely on her. It's like if I went into, like, a fucking spelling bee. And it's just like, okay, what are your credentials? It's like, well, I have dyslexia and I literally can't read. And also, I don't speak your language. I don't think I do too well. And I don't think I can blame people for fucking laughing at me when I spell zebra with a K. We have a right to our own journey, our own belief. We don't ha owe anything to anybody. We have the right to... What is this video, want, then? Worship how we want, show it how we want. Uh-huh. And if you're doing something... And eat an entire chicken casserole, all right? Thing ...that you think is better than another Muslim, good for you. Um, you know, I would say just keep that to yourself, and that's what you're doing law, and... <laughs> You know. Bro, you literally just came out here and you criticized fucking Reverb for not wearing the hijab. <laughs> Calm your tits. I mean, keep it to yourself. Oh, it's not like I'm doing anything super immoral or bad. Like we and, are. Um, like, lots. Yeah. It's, it's, Islam is about... It's it. not like I'm doing anything ser I haven't, like, murdered anyone. And my husband only talks about gripping people. So, like... I think on a sliding scale, we're like a nine out of ten. Relationship between you and and Allah, that's it. Not, not about you know, judging other Muslims. You know? I think it's honestly isn't about your relationship with you and Allah. I, I honestly don't think you care about that. I think you only care about your relationship between you and reaction channels, which is depressing as fuck, bro. Also, yeah, that's just my thought on the whole community. How it can be a bit judgmental sometimes compared to what I'm used to. So you know, Alhamdulillah. So you know, Inshallah, someday I will get it but there's some things that i still struggle with and i think i'm um, you know allow that patience you know just like allah's patient with us as we're learning so <laughs> anyways guys that's all i wanted to say just maybe about religion. but maybe she shouldn't be learning my favorite bit is that she like doesn't know like anything you know she can't say like anything it's just like uh alhamdulillah and inshallah you know that's it she like sticks those together in like a sentence because she suddenly was just like i'll prove how much of a muslim i am and those are like the only two words that she knows and yes i probably butcher them because i butcher like every word i butcher english and i speak english of course i'm gonna butcher arabic as well uh yeah kind of just like a pathetic video like a really groveling video obviously it is her trying to like do a bit of damage control because this is obviously after the the Islamic communities like turned against her the ones that she like bought subs from and like banged subs from and all obviously they turned against her and they started shitting on her extra hard and also there are like creators in the space who are actually re like real Muslims they're like coming out and saying their expertise and people are obviously paying attention to them it's like the are you serious the our lady and the milk tea um people told me that she actually like where I don't know what, what country she's in but she's out in the Middle East so she actually knows about the culture so there are people like that who are getting more and more views every single day because people are actually interested in this and interested in how Miriam is honestly fucking everything up over and over again so they go to people like that it's like you don't come to me to learn about Islam because I'm a fucking potato wearing a dog costume you come to me because occasionally I go Ugh, or something like that you don't come to me for that but you go to them for that and that's what she absolutely hates is that people are actually getting attention by being real Muslims criticizing her but I don't know, that's probably gonna be it guys like I said I'll do maybe a live stream or something like that I've watched her community tab post I'll put up a waiting room as well with that or something because it might be for Berlin, just because I don't care about her videos, I kind of want to play through them, or we might finish out the foodie beauty thing. But that's gonna be it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves.
Bye-bye.